With Twilio for Salesforce, you can get up and running with SMS in just a few minutes. This tutorial will show you how. Starting from the App Exchange page and clicking on Get It Now, or on the Twilio for Salesforce Twilio page, clicking Get the App, you'll be redirected to a page where you enter a few quick details, and then click on Get the App. You'll get to this confirmation page where you can click on either Install in Sandbox or Install in Production. When I click on that link, I'll be redirected to Salesforce and I may be prompted to log in. Click on Install for All Users and then click the blue Install button. Approve third-party access to the sites that Twilio uses to run the app by checking Yes, Grant access to these third-party websites and then click Continue. You'll see the screen which shows that we're installing the package and it may spin for a few minutes. You may see a notice that the app is taking a while to install. That's okay, you can just click Done and you'll be redirected to the Salesforce setup panel. If you occasionally refresh this page, within a few minutes you should see the app appear in your installed packages. Once the package is installed, it'll appear with the package name Twilio for Salesforce among your other installed packages. To get Twilio for Salesforce set up, we can head over to the Twilio configuration page by clicking on the app launcher, searching for Twilio configuration, and clicking on the page link. Now we can get started with our configuration. You'll need to create a Twilio account so you can get your API keys to connect to Twilio. Do that by clicking on the Create Account button. You'll be redirected to a sign-up form. Enter the information and click on Start Your Free Trial. You should receive a verification email within just a few minutes asking you to confirm that you're human to start your free trial. After you verify your email, you'll be asked to also verify your phone number. Enter your verification code and click Submit, and then answer a few quick questions in the Twilio console. Now that we have a Twilio account, we can put our account SID and auth token into Twilio for Salesforce. I'm going to copy the account SID by clicking on this button, switch back to Twilio for Salesforce, and paste it into the account SID field under the Connect panel. Next, I'm going to grab my auth token by clicking on the Copy button again, and then paste it over into the Connect panel. Click Validate Credentials. Next, we need to select the messaging service that we want to use with Twilio for Salesforce. We can do that by going to Programmable SMS, SMS, and then click on Create New Messaging Service. You can call this Connect to Salesforce. For the messaging use case, select the one that makes most sense for you. Next, we need to add a number to our messaging service. Click on Numbers, and then Buy a Number. You can search for numbers by area code, so I'll enter 415 for San Francisco. Here are a few different numbers that come up. I can buy one with the trial credits that are already in my account. Click on Buy this number, and you should see the phone number added to your messaging service. Now that we have a messaging service, you can go back to this page, refresh, and you should see your messaging service appear here. Select the messaging service and click on Validate Credentials. And then we'll see the full list of Twilio configuration settings. We've now successfully connected to Twilio. There are several configuration options on this page, but for now we're going to focus on sending our first SMS from a contact. I'm going to add a new contact here and give it a mobile number. Click on Save to create your new contact record. And next, we can go in and edit this page using the Lightning App Builder. However, before we can add custom Lightning components to this page, we need to deploy My Domain. You can tell if My Domain hasn't been deployed in two ways. One, if your pod number appears up in the URL of your domain. And two, if you don't see any custom components down here and see this prompt to deploy My Domain. We can do that by clicking on this link. If you already have My Domain deployed, you can skip these steps. First, we need to pick a domain to add to My Domain. I'm going to call this one Setup Demo, but it can be custom to what your org is. Next, click on Check Availability. We get a confirmation that this My Domain is available, and then we can click to register the domain. Next, Salesforce will put us in a domain registration pending state. You'll get an email in just a few minutes when your My Domain is ready to test and use. Once My Domain is ready for testing, you'll be able to log in with your new domain. 
click on the login button to try it out. Now that we've successfully logged in with my domain, we can deploy it to all users for our org. Click on the Deploy to Users button down here to initiate that process. Now that my domain has been deployed, we can use custom Lightning components in the Lightning App Builder. So let's head back there. I'm going to open up my contacts. Click onto the record. And then click on Edit Page. Now that we have my domain enabled, you can see that we have our custom managed components from Twilio available to add to the page here. I'm going to select the Twilio two-way messages component and drag it onto the page. Click on save and then click on activate to show the component to all of your users. Here I'm going to assign it as the org default for our contact layout, but you can also decide how this component appears depending on app or depending on the record type and the profile of the user. Twilio for Salesforce also supports the Salesforce One mobile app, so I'm going to go ahead and click on desktop and phone for the form factors that we support. Go ahead and click to save these assignments. Now we can head back to our contact page and see the component on the page. The last thing we need to do to get this component working is to add the Twilio permission set to our user. We can do that by going to the setup page, searching for permission sets in the quick find box, and then clicking on Twilio Administrator, Manage Assignments, Add Assignments, and then select your user and assign. Refresh the page one more time. Now that we have the one-to-one -one SMS component installed, we can start sending SMS. We can see that this message has now been delivered to our phone, and it also has the trial account message. To test this out, I can reply back on my phone. We've now sent our first message back to Salesforce. If we go back to the contact, we'll see that the message appears, and note that this sometimes takes up to a minute to happen. To remove your trial account restriction, all you need to do is click on Upgrade Project over on the Twilio console. And you'll be redirected to enter some payment information into the platform. Lastly, if you'd like to keep using Twilio for Salesforce after the 30-day trial, just go to the Twilio configuration page, select the number of licenses you'd like to purchase. In this case, I'll grab two. Click on Submit Order, and you'll see that your license has been activated. I've used one out of my two active licenses. Since every user in my org needs a license to be able to use Twilio for Salesforce, I'm going to click on Configure Licenses, click on Add to Users, select another user, and now I have two licenses in use. There are plenty of other things you can do with Twilio for Salesforce, like setting up the SMS inbox, adding SMS to campaigns, or creating a process builder flow that leverages SMS. You can check them out in our docs at twilio.com slash docs slash salesforce. Thank you very much for installing Twilio for Salesforce, and we can't wait to see what you build.